Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some more Hearthstone and we are continuing in the final episodes here of the Black Rock Mountain Adventure. Today the final wing is actually released, that wing is going to be the Hidden Laboratory. Let's go into here. That's right, all the way down here at the bottom, the Hidden Laboratory, final wing. We've taken out Black Rock Depths, we've done Molten Core, we've done Black Rock Spire, we've done Black Wing Lair, and now for the final one, the Hidden Laboratory. Nefarian is back, ladies and gentlemen, with, ooh, four bosses with this one. That's going to be fun. Four more bosses plus legendaries. All, oh, let's do it. Who's going to be the first one here? My inner sanctum is guarded by the most powerful defense system imaginable. Omnitron. I don't know who, I only know who this is. So, Nefarian has escaped. Follow him. Follow him after you disable his laboratory's defense systems. This is going to be the defense system. His ability is going to be hero power, activate... Arcanotron. So Omnitron is going to activate Arcanotron. I don't even know what that means. So I guess we're just going to have to pick a deck, hop in there, and hope that uh, we don't get screwed up, huh? I don't know. Let's go with this deck. This is a deck I've been playing around with a little bit. Uh, we could go with the Warrior. Our vault things uh, end up failing. But this is a deck I put together. You'll see it on your screen when uh, the game actually starts. Um, I call it my Dragons deck. Um, basically, it's just taking a bunch of different dragons and putting them together in a Paladin deck. Now, of course, it's not nearly complete because there's a lot more cool dragon cards that you can get from this particular wing of the Black Rock Mountain Adventure. So, I'm looking forward to getting some of these cards and seeing how they could work in this deck. But, um, yeah, it's a fun little deck. Intruders detected. I will fight with honor. I will fight with honor. That's what, that's, that's what we do. I like the Hungry Dragon. It's actually, I think the Hungry Dragon is one of the better cards in the game. It can be a, just a game changer. So powerful. 5-6 for 4. You give them a 1-cost minion. And if you play that in like a deck where you have like a weapon on hand. Or if you have like something else on the board where you can clear off whatever mini you give them. The Hungry Dragon can just be... Just a menace. Yeah, I think it'd just be powerful, but uh, you're wondering about the deck you see over there on the left side. Uh, Blackwing Technician. It's not the greatest deck. It's just something I put together. It doesn't even have a ton of dragon-based things yet because we get a lot from this particular Primary wing. Defense matrix. Initiate. I want to see what else he says. Beep. Boop. Beep. <laughs> I am sorry. Attempting to connect. That was a mistake. Connection successful. Downloading OS updates. What in the world? He's downloading operating system Justice updates. demands retribution. Update installed. Hello, hello. <laughs> I like this. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's put down the old dragon egg. Now, dragon egg I found can actually be a very fun card, especially if you get something out there like, um, like a defender of Argus, or get something that can give it taunt. Oh. So his hero power... Okay, so he's going to have a bunch of different Trons. This is Arcanatron, which is going to be a legendary. It's a zero mana card. That's a 2-2, two -two, and both players have plus two spell damage. Interesting. Then uh, it's going to take, take him four mana if he's going to be able to put out Toxitron. Arcanotron, Toxitron. Maybe there's going to be a Firetron of some kind. That's interesting. Okay. Ooh, that Earth Shock! Look at the damage that thing can do. He's gonna silence it and kill it. Oh no! Well, you're gonna be—he's gonna be summoning in a Black Welt from this. He has a card called Recharge, where he can fill in all its. <laughs> oh, that is—that is such a good counter. Such a good counter because my idea was like, okay, well, I want to kill off the Ar the Arcanatron, right? But then he puts out the Micro Machine. You gotta kill the Micro Machine, otherwise that thing just gets out of hand. But then again, I could also consecrate it next turn, and then it would live. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw you out for right now. That's going to give uh, the Black Whelp Divine Shield, and goodness gracious, who do I want to kill? I could kill off that, potentially. Yeah, we'll get rid of this. I don't like all that extra spell power. I feel like that, I feel like all that spell power, he's going to have some crazy shaman spells or something. He's just going to burst me down with it. Arcane Golem. Oh, I see. I knew he'd go for face. I knew he would go for face. Well, now we can use Consecration and down you go. The both of them, guys. Very good. Very good. Consecration, go through damage all enemies. So there goes Arcane Golem. There goes your Micro Machine. There goes two damage to you, plus two more damage from the Whelp, and two damage from the Argent Protector. Dark 
Toxitron unit. Uh oh, Toxitron. So what's Toxitron do? He's gonna be at the start. I can't read with the your turn in the way. Uh, Toxitron, at the start of your turn, deal one damage to all other minions. I don't think I like that very much. Well, yes, I do, because I have a dragon egg that I can throw out there. I think that would be a good thing. And. Uh, well, Holy Light now, why not? Give me back up to 29 health. And I don't want to throw out the Blackwing Technician just yet, because. Well, there's no need to. <laughs> there's no need to just yet. So I'm just going to attack face right now. And there's no point in me even hero powering because it's just going to kill it with a Toxitron. Aha, that made it so uh, Black Whelp's going to show up to replace the other one. He's going to hit that one. So another Whelp shows up. Oh, goodness. He's going to throw out a Tinkertown Technician where he doesn't even get the bonus. Wait. Oh, never mind. Toxitron counts as a mech. Never mind. He does get a bonus. Oh, he's giving it stealth so I can't kill it. He's recharging to get all of his crystals back. He's got a flame cannon. Oh, there goes one of my Whelps. Jeez. Cheese and crackers, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, uh... <gasps> True silver champion down that thing, I suppose. And nothing where you can do besides attack face right now. Because he's stealth, and I have no way of getting out of stealth or being able to kill it. I, con I could have consecrated, but that wouldn't kill it. So... Oh no, he's got Electron coming out! What's this guy do? Oh, spells cost three less! Oh, goodness gracious. A spell power deck would be very good against this guy, I would think. Ooh, Ysera. Ooh, and thanks to Ysera, I now have... I can put out the Blackwing Technician. It's going to be a 3-5 for 3. May work is paramount. Leave me alone. Now, here's the big question. Do I consecrate? Do I want to get rid of that? Because I could. I could, hit, I could truck the damage with True Silver Champion, consecrate, then I'd kill it, and I'd put that thing down to 1 health. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. For justice. And we're going to truck that down. Now, that thing's going to have one help up, but we have Ysera, and all the cards are going to come from Ysera. Ysera is very fun. If you guys have never seen Ysera get played, it's a whole lot of fun. I was going to flame cannon to kill off that. Enhance the mechanic. Oh, no taunt, no taunt, no taunt. He gets taunt. Freaking Enhanced Mechanico. <laughs> Fun little card, really, but, uh... Alright, let's see if he has an answer for you, Sarah. Alright, let's get some Dream cards. Dream cards are exclusive to Ysera. She can make, I believe, one of four different cards for you. And I get Nightmare. Give me plus five, plus five, and to start your next turn, destroy it. Goodness gracious, Magnetron! Look at him, he's running, his, he's running his whole groups into him. He doesn't have an answer for you, Sarah. I like it. Um, Magnetron. When a player plays a card, Magnetron deals two damage to them. Huh. Well, I could use Nightmare, technically, to give that thing plus five, plus five, which is very scary, but it'll also destroy it at the start of my next turn. Plus five, plus five. Would that be... Yes. If we were to get plus five, plus five, that'd be just enough to be able to kill him. My idea was if I could uh, use this light here to restore Isera up to 11 health, but it's it, it would have 12 attack. Hmm. So I don't think I want, want that necessarily. Here's what here's what I think we do. Here's what I think we do. I don't want to taunt Isera. I don't want to taunt Isera just yet. Oh, it does two damage to me. When, oh, okay, it does, I thought I did the damage to the card. Well then, uh, yeah, it's going to keep on doing damage to me, though, but we're going to heal up Ysera here, and we're going to buff up this thing, I think, as weird as this is. I guess I could have, now I think about it, I could have saved that for next turn and buffed up Ysera, but whatever, that thing's going to die being an Emerald Drake, a 7-6 for 4, very cool card. Oh, he's, he can he can hurt himself by playing cards. What in the world is this? He gets a Toxitron now. Okay. He's gonna what? Are you gonna stealth your Magnetron? Because that's not gonna save you, buddy. It ain't gonna save you. Magnetron's gonna die at the beginning of my turn. And there he goes. And that's GG, ladies and gentlemen. He's down to six health. Well, that was a thing. Throw out the Azure Drake just for funsies. Ooh. Throw, let's throw out the Hungry. Eh, let's throw out the Emerald Drake just because you never get to see the Emerald Drake really. Oh, he has the same battle cry as that. I figured it would have like a different sound. But okay. Bring I got 
Yeah! Dun, 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 dun. You've saved me some hefty repair costs. <laughs> Thanks. Oh no, Varian. I'm coming for you, buddy. Coming for you. Volcanic Drake, new dragon card. Cost one less reach minion that died this turn. 6-4. I'd much rather it be a 4-6, but we'll see. We'll see. It could... You know, if you have uh, you play that in a Paladin deck where a bunch of your recruits end up dying or something like that, that you can get this card out there relatively cheaply, I would think. So, who knows? Who knows? I like it. Meloriac is not the sharpest poleaxe in the garrison. Not the sharpest poleaxe in the garrison. I like it. All right. So, uh, Meloriac is that what you said? Experiments never work out as planned, but they don't mean they aren't uh, still deadly. So apparently this is going to be dragon experiments. It's a passive hero power, which is always interesting. Whenever a minion is summoned, swap its attack and health. Huh. Swap its attack and health. Hmm. I wonder what the best way would be best to play minions with high attack or high health. I can't even tell. Do I play the dragon's deck again, or do I go with the funny shaman deck, or do I go with the with the all always fun warrior deck, or do I go with the alliance deck, or do I go with the old shaman deck, or do I go with the survival hunter, or do I go with the death rattle? Death rattle could be fun with this. Let's try death rattle. I feel as a death rattle could be fun with this because I have a feeling my guys are gonna be dying a lot, so we'll have to see. It's gonna be weird when you put them out because everything, everything's stuff is gonna be swapped. Maloria! No disruptions. Your soul shall be mine. Wait a minute! I just realized if I throw out the Nerubian egg, it'll be a it'll be a two zero, which means the four four Nerubian will come out as a result. That's awesome! That just hit me. That's oh yeah, I think this deck is gonna work out pretty well. Nice hit my foot off my desk, I hurt. Let's do this. Alright, so that'd be a two one Undertaker, a five three sludge belcher, a three one unstable goal. Wow. Okay. Oh, mustn't keep the master waiting. Mustn't fail again. Well played. Nothing goes to waste. That was a mistake. Nothing goes to waste. Sorry. Nothing goes All right, he's just going to say the same stuff over and over. So the Undertaker is going to be a 2 1. Maloriac, try not to lose to this mortal. Oh, call me immortal. Oh, oh, watch all of his, watch all of his cards have, like, basically be that, like, perfectly even. Well, so now I'm going to have a 3-1 taunt card. But I have three attacks, so I'm just going to, I'm going to try and rush them down. I feel as though the best way to ever play these is just to rush them down always. Ah, now I, yeah, it's going to make you a 3-1 with taunt. Two 3-1s with taunt. Okay, that's kind of scary. I could de I could design a really cool deck around this. I think the really cool deck I would design would be something along the lines of lots of people with high health, just so they have tons of high attack. Something in three aberrations. What in the world? Ah, they're like horrible, horrible monstrosities. I am gonna get rushed down hard by this thing, and unless I can survive long enough to get the sludge belcher out there. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll get the 5-4 Mechanical Yeti out there. And... This is weird! Oh, what's that secret? Please don't be revive it. Put two co- He's got two- Oh, no. He just duplicated the Void Walkers. Now he's got two more Void Walkers in his hand. He's got some bunch of 3-1 Taunt cards on the board. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? No! My Warrior deck. I need to pull out the Warrior deck against this guy. Holy crap. The Warrior deck and its Whirlwinds and Enrages would, would save me here. Oh my goodness, look at him buffing up the flesh eating goal! <laughs> well, on the bright side, I can get out my taunt guard. Oh my goodness gracious me! Next turn, next turn, we can get out Stalag. That'll be a 4 7. That'll be pretty good. Oh my goodness, how many cards this guy got? Look at him go! <laughs> Yeah! Oh my! Oh my! Th 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 I I I can't handle these goals. Th th there's there's. Uh... Oh my god!
That didn't go as planned. That didn't go as planned at all. Okay, well now I know. He will rush you down. He will rush you down. He will rush you down hard. Holy crap. That was insane. That was just brutal. It's really what that was. Uh, we'll keep the Berserker. We'll keep the War Axe. War Axe, I think, will be definitely helpful. And, all right, Armorsmith. All right, that's, a, that's a relatively good start. I have no one drops in this deck, so... That's going to be good. I think it'll work out. Ooh, Taskmaster. Alright. Uh, so I, I just realized the armor is going to be a 4-1 in, in this environment. But we're going to put out the Imani Berserker with the hopes that he can't counter it. And then we can enrage it with the Cruel Taskmaster and just smack 7 damage right to the face next turn. Yeah, we're going to smack 7 damage right to the face. It's not even going to be fair for him. No, it'll be 8 damage because he's buffed up, huh? Oh, yeah, 8-1. Eight, 8-1. One. Eight, one. You got to love it, man. Sometimes I, you just get some really good quick plays. If you get, like, an inner rage without a money berserker sometimes, you can just massacre them. What secret do we got? It's a mage secret, so it's probably going to be another duplicate like what they had last time. Uh, we'll armor smith, and we'll war axe. We'll see who can right. We'll, we'll see who can rush down who faster. He, you're gonna you're gonna polymorph an armor smith. Well, that's kind of sad for you because there's grim patrons to be had, and there's inner rage grim patrons. Oh no, he would have a counter spell. He would. All right. Well. We're going to keep attacking here with the Fiery War Axe, is my idea, and we'll get the Death Spite out next turn. The quicker we can get Death Spite's Death Rattle to trigger with Grim Patrons on the board, that would be good. Ooh. I think it could potentially be very, very good, depending on how low your opponent's health is. Oh, on the bright side, I have an easy counter. We're going to run that Sheep into him and execute it. Good thing I drew that Execute, huh? Get him with the old Death Bite. Get him with the Grim Patron. Next turn, if the Grim Patron lives, Death Bite's Death Rattle will trigger. Oh! It doesn't matter. It's going to trigger right now. That's going to trigger the Death Rattle. We're going to get some uh, more Grim Patrons. They ain't looking good for you so far. He overwhelmed me last time, but now... I'm going to say, it apparently doesn't have the... Doesn't have the mage seeker that what's it called duplicate? There's one where basically they sub in like a copy of it, mirror or it's not mirror image. I don't know what it would be, but well, so far it's looking like this is gonna be a quick win. Oh, Sludge Bulge was gonna slow me down a bit. Oh, oh. Well, huh? What would be the best way to do this? What would be the best way? Is it possible? Do I? Is it possible for me to win this turn? So, I'm trying to think here. A Grim Patron into him would kill off the Sludge Belcher. Yeah, I can win this turn. I can win this turn. I think. Uh, so we're gonna run you into you, because that it's gonna pop out as a two-one. Yeah, it's gonna pop out as a two-one rather than a one-two because of his ability. Yep, yep, yep. That's gonna allow me to kill it off with the Armor Smith. And then I throw on the Cruel Taskmaster, and I buff that up to an 8-1 again. Uh-huh. And... Bada bing, bada boom. That went a lot better. <laughs> so much better. I love this deck. This is the deck I like playing with the most. Getting closer to that Golden Chill and Yeti. For you to commemorate this moment. Slayer of stupid, incompetent, and disappointing minions. Yes, that fits. Are you saying that this this wing is full of stupid, incompetent minions? All right, so I get Blackwing Corruptors, whose battle cries. If you're holding a dragon, deal three damage. So potentially, it's going to be a little bit like a uh, fire elemental for a shaman. But of course, it's a neutral card, which could work pretty cool in a dragon deck. That'd be fun. Now what? Atromedes may not be able to see you. But he can hear you snivel in fear. I've heard about this guy. He's basically a blind dragon who 
find you by sound, basically. So he's blind, so he'll rely on his hearing to locate you. Wow. Okay. Well, I, I was, I, I swear to you, I didn't read that when I said that. I actually know a little bit about this guy. Uh, good thing from his lair is lined up with sound gongs. So eculate. So equip a weapon that grows as your opponent plays cards. So the more cards I play, the more damage he does, or the bigger his weapon can get. I'm not entirely sure how that works, so I'm just going to go with the Shaman. Just for the fun of going with the Shaman, you know, a little bit of deck variety in here. My new name is Slayer of Stupid, Incompetent, and Disappointing Minions. This is here, Cinema. Alright, so this guy can hear me, apparently. I'm very confused as to how this is going to work, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta always at least go for it at least once just to see what the mechanics are like and then how to counter it. What in the world are these? Destroy your opponent's weapon. Oh. Okay, so they they basically give me three free kill things for his gong. But those would probably be the only ones I have, unless I were to you know, make a specific deck where I would get a six Swamp Oozes and stuff in there. Well, let's get out the Argent Squire first. It's called Dragon's Teeth. Whenever your opponent plays a card, gain plus one attack. Well, this isn't a card. I'll just keep going at you with totems. <laughs> I'll go totems at you. Alright, Dragon Egg. I'll leave that thing alone. There's no reason for me to hit it, right? Ooh. Okay, 2-3. That's Twilight Well. Mm. more totems and I'm actually gonna play this which is gonna buff him up to a 1-6 card okay so every time I do an emo he's gonna be like yes yeah, speak all right, this is, I mean, it's going to buff him up a little bit, but the Fire Guard Destroyer, you got to put him out, right? Yeah. Five, six. So I think the the real strategy here is perhaps if you were to have like a zoo style deck where you're rushing him down, uh, you basically get his weapon up a ton by throwing out all your cards kind of at once, and then you destroy his card or destroy his weapon. I think that would be... The strategy, right? Is he I'm say is he gonna run that into that? Cause that would just be weird. All right. Um, I have four mana to play with, which isn't a bunch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbound elemental, which is gonna buff up his weapon again, and I'm actually gonna destroy his weapon. You cannot escape. And we'll kill off that thing. Cause that just seems like a good trade. A one-one for a one-two, or for a two-one. I think I got the better deal out of that. And they end up trading that. Alright, so he does have a he put out the black wing technician, which means he does have a dragon in his hand. Hmm. I could silence these things, or one of them. We'll get out that, I feel like. Let's rock by your weapon. Right? Right? Ah! Oh, we're gonna hit him hard. Ah! Oh. 10 damage, then hit him with that. I think that's about GG, sir. <laughs> I could kill him with just a, just a Doom Hammer. Ow. That's just... Oh, I wish I had some minions. Bloodlust would be just really fun. This. Oh, I didn't realize I still had my first Bloodlust. I have two of them in this deck. I might, I might change that around, but... um, you know. Put out you. All right, so we get a 1-1. One, one. Interesting. And we'll get out an Acolyte of Pain. Wait a minute, I can already win. When did he take two damage? Whatever. I didn't realize I could already win. I didn't realize his health was that low. I thought I was a couple, I thought I was a two turns away from winning, not one. Well, that was sadly easy.
Yeah, I guess. All right, that is going to be the Draconid Crusher, who's going to be a 6-6 six, six for 6. Pretty average stat line, but it's about crowded. Your opponent's 15 or less health gain, plus 3, plus 3. So it's potentially a 9-9 nine, nine for 6, depending on how low your uh, opponent's health is. So that would be pretty interesting, I think. All right, final boss here, boys. And possibly girl or two. This time, you won't be so lucky. Oh no, you won't have Ragnaros' help. Good luck. All right, so his ability is summon uh, two, two, one bone constructs. All right, so I think we're going to go with the warrior for him. Because I have a lot of cards that can do enrages and AoE and, you know, things like that. Uh, cruel Taskmasters. I'm basically going to try to control the two ones is what I'm going to really try to do here. <laughs> Again. You made it to the glorious finale. Victory or death. I'll get rid of the Berserker right now. Maybe see if we can get another two drop. And we do. All right, Armorsmith. All right, the Farian. I'm not gonna have Ragnaros' help apparently though, so I'm kind of scared. Awaits, What's his ultimate creation? What, what what what's your ultimate creation? Sir? Hello? Sir? Alright, we got a war axe, right? No. Be better to get minions on the board this turn. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Get the armor smith out now. Next turn, I could either war axe or I could use a cruel taskmaster to kill off stuff. He's gonna soul fire that down. That stinks. I was really. I was hoping to use the armor smith to kill off his minions. Hmm. My oh my oh my. Um... Alright, we'll War Axe. Kill that. Do a Dragon Egg. So you can use his hero power. So that's how that works, huh? Well, now I can kill it and Taskmaster down the other, and we will also get the Ronamani Berserker out as well. So let's kill off one of them with the Cruel Taskmaster. Let's kill off one of these. There they are. Now I got two minions on the board. You do have a Dragon Egg, but what are you going to do with that? Four damage! Oh, well, we'll see you, Berserker. It was uh, good knowing you. You done good. You done good. Um, I'd like to get out the Accolade of Pain. And we'll armor up. Just because the Accolade of Pain might give me some card draw. I'm starting to run low on cards. Leave me alone. I think that this is one of the best voice acted cards in the game. It's just hilarious. Alright, so these things are actually perfect for getting a little bit of card draw out of the... Ooh, ooh hold on here. Let's get out you. Alright, let's get out that. Now. I, should, I guess I should have waited to throw that out, but... That inner rage could be good. Oh, how do I want to do that? Technically, I could technically I could take the axe, smash into that. It would only have two left, and I could run that into that. I could kill off everything here. Okay, I'm glad I, I'm glad I stopped to think all this out. And I'm also getting just such crazy buffs up on the throttling berserker right now. All right, sir. There's an 8-4 on the board, and he's going to soul fire it. Shit! <laughs> well, that uh, was certainly a thing. I think, I, I think I'm thinking too much about board clearing. I might lose this one. I think it's because I paid too much attention to actually trying to board clear on this. Uh, ooh. Huh. Huh. Yeah. All right, so... Wait, I should put out the Grim Patron first. Okay, so here's the idea. Here's the idea. Um, I attack with him just to get the one damage from the Accolade Pain. Then I Whirlwind. One damage to all minions, including my own guy. Where they kill off him, kill off him. It's going to do one damage to him, which is going to summon a 2-1 Whelp. Right? It's going to summon a 2-1 Whelp. Oh, and I could axe down the Whelp, I suppose. And then I'll actually get two Grim Patrons as well. Yeah, that sounds good. Might be might be a little bit overextending with this, but uh, we'll see. Everyone, get in here. Got my axe flinger. That's gonna summon up him. Kill off both of them. We go and kill off that, and now we have an axe flinger and a brawl. I hope you can 
Lava, deal two damage to all minions. Why would you do that? I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna get another Grim Patron, but he's gonna get some guys out of it. He's gonna get some benefit from that. If I can draw my Warzone Commander, this game would be over if I could draw my Warzone Commander. Come on, Warzone Commander, I need you. I need you like you wouldn't believe. Oh my goodness, please, Warzone Commander. Let me draw it, let me draw it, let me draw it. No! Well, Inner Rage will work just as good, I guess, but jeez. Well, no, it won't. That won't work as... Uh... Hmm. Ready to flee. Inner Rage. Well, yes, Inner Rage could work out well for me here. So, uh, we kill off one of these. That's going to give him... Inner Rage that. So we get another one. And attack face and armor up. See, if I would have my Warzone Commander, every time one of these Grim Patrons spawns, I would be able to have have charge with it. But he had to wait, he had basically clear off his whole board to kill off this stuff, so I'm, in, I'm, I'm happy about that. And he also only has one health left on that Nerubian. But... Unfortunately, my Grim Patron's down to one health, which stinks. Emperor is going to be coming out, and it stinks because I have no cards in my hand for him to really benefit me with. But uh, I'd say a fair trade is to get rid of that thing and do two damage to him. We'll attack his face. He's probably going to run. Whoa. What in the world is he doing? <laughs> what in the world is that? All right, so he brought back Onyxia, his sister. Okay then. Uh, so, 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 am I fighting two heroes here? Like, what, what, what's he doing up there? I do have a brawl. <laughs> I guess I should keep that in mind. The fairy rains fire from above. Oh no! Don't trade, you jerk! I was gonna say I was gonna. Well, I can brawl. I can brawl. And I'll keep the Acolyte just in case. So, brawl. Ding, ding. Come on. One of the lowlies. One of the lowlies. Alright. Or the best minion he has on his board. You can allow him, have him be the one who lives too. I guess random is random at the end of the day, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't looking good. This isn't looking good at all. This isn't looking... Oh, thank you, Orsong Commander, for showing up now. Thank you. Ooh, that's fight. If I can rush down Anixia, maybe, before she can rush down me. <laughs> this time, only one fireball. I was going to say, if, that, if that's three fireballs, that's just going to be rough. Okay, that is literally the last card I needed to draw. I mean, it gives me the ability to possibly kill him next turn, or kill her next turn, but she can do damage to me, too. I don't know how much. Oh, no! Three. No! Power overwhelming! No! <laughs> Rest in peace, me. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Okay, I don't... I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to beat that. Um, <laughs> huh. <laughs> we'll go with the Shaman deck again. Just because the Shaman deck seems to, for whatever reason, be like the killer. It just seems to be the, the destroyer of Hearthstone bosses. So we'll use it. Especially in the, la in the last wing. Nefarian! Again! <laughs> you made it to the glorious finale for Doomhammer. This is the glorious finale. Boy, oh boy. I'm not even positive. Like, usually I have an idea. It's like, okay, so this is what I need to do against this boss. I'm not seeing that, besides having a lot of, like, AoE. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll have to design the AoE deck if this doesn't work. I'm not sure. The warrior has even more AOE than what I had in that deck already, so perhaps we could do that. Perhaps I could build like a control warrior style deck, maybe? One where I have a lot of big hitting minions at the end, and I just do board clearing until I can get the big cost guys out. And that is really annoying to have that out on turn two. Well, let's see. I think Spirit Wolf would probably be the smartest thing to do, right? Alright. 
Yeah. I think Spirit Wolves. Get a couple two threes with Taunt there. Soul Fire down. Oh, he's going to Soul Fire. That, that Soul Fire is so annoying. All right, on the bright side, we have a Lightning Storm. But we can't use this term because we're overloaded. But we do have a Lightning Storm. Come on, Tawny Totem. Yeah, Tawny Totem. And we'll kill off one of them. That seems like a fair trade, a 1-1 one, one for a 2-1. God, these things are too strong. These things are too strong. We've got five mana. Do I want to hex one of these things? Because I kind of want to. I kind of really want to. Let's get out of Totem, and I'm going to hex one of them. Because those things are just ridiculous. Nope. I can't hex it. If I if I hex that thing down, man, that just, it, it's silly. Especially when you have that many of them. Okay. I'm glad I didn't do that. I am glad I didn't do that. But, Lightning Storm. I need, I need, like you guys would not believe. That guy, actually, I might, I might actually hex. I think I'm going to hex this turn. So, the reason why I'm thinking I'm going to hex is it's going to turn it into a 0-1 frog. And that will make it so my Lightning Storm can actually kill it off. Of course, I could go for the, the gamble where I could get uh, a, a totem out that will increase my spell damage by 1. That's not really going to help. Um, it's going to kill these regardless. It would potentially, if, if I were to get it, a 1 in 4 chance, it would make it so I guaranteed to kill that. But it wouldn't kill that. It wouldn't kill that. So, uh, we're going to hex down one of these. Alright, just like so. Lightning Storm. Alright, beautiful. Get that. And trade you into you. That worked out so well. That worked out so well. Dragon's Breath deal 4 damage. Well... I mean, whatever. That worked out well. <laughs> At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, that worked out very well. So let's get out another Unbound Elemental, and we'll get out a Totem. I, I randomly like playing the Shaman. Like, it's just very fun. All right, that's a... See, that this is the guy I was thinking I should be saving my Hexes for, but he's really throwing out all of his removal, isn't he? Huh. Huh. See, I'm thinking Fire Guard Destroyer, but he could probably just kill the Fire Guard Destroyer. My ultimate hope is, is to be able to give the Fire Guard Destroyer Wind Fury. But I'm not thinking that's going to be something I can do. Giving this thing Wind Fury makes no sense, obviously. Let's get... If I throw out the Fire Elemental and do 3 damage to that thing, he's just going to kill it. But I can also throw out the Fire Elemental and do 3 damage to him. And get a Totem? Let's, let's Totem regardless. All right, we get the spell power totem, which doesn't really do much for me right now. I can do three damage to his face with the fire elemental, then he's basically going to trade that for the fire elemental, and that would free me. Yeah, and that would free me up to do some other things. So we'll do it that way because I'm ba I'm banking on him trading. If he doesn't trade, I might be might be kind of boned. Chromagus. He's he didn't trade. You. You, you silly, silly boy. Well, now I'm going to do just lots and lots and lots of damage to you. Okay, sound good, sounds good. Let's give you some Wind Fury. Yeah, yeah. Get to, oh, do I, do I want to get the Totem out? Or do I want to get that out? Or do I want to silence Chromagus? I want to silence Chromagus. Definitely. Alright, and let's get out Fire Guard Destroyer. I'm going to be so overloaded. Oh, actually, I'm only one overloaded for next turn. So it's a 6-6, six, six, and... We're about to do some damage. Alright, so whenever you take down his armor, he goes up in the air, apparently. So, Nixia, his power is a variant's going to raise fire. Okay. I mean, I could probably kill a Nixia pretty quick, I feel, as though. 15 health. He's going to have to trade... If he's smart, he'll tra he puts Chromagus into into that, and then uses that to kill off maybe the Fire Guard Destroyer, who knows. I do have a couple healers in this deck. Okay, I can kill off her this turn. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm doing this mainly for science. The smart thing to do right now would be, let's trade. Let's get some of these big, scary creatures off the board. But rather than that, I'm going to kill off her. And especially since I got that Doombiter weapon. That's just not even fair. Alright, so... 
or rock fire weapon. I call it doom biter weapon. I was thinking of the doom hammer and the rock biter. I call it the doom biter. All right, so we're gonna do 10 damage this way. Do I win? Okay, she dies, and he comes back down. No, I won't. Ooh. Well, I would have traded if I would have known that it would have killed my minion for free. <laughs> Go, Accolade of Pain! You can do it! <laughs> I could use a Lightning Storm right now very badly. Lightning. Lightning bolt! That's not what I needed! Wait a minute. I could. I could. Huh. Yeah, I just realized this is all coming down to whether or not I have a 1 in 16 chance of drawing the card I need here. <laughs> But I'm just wondering what would be the best way to do this. So a lightning storm will do two to three damage. Two, two, three. So the idea is I run uh, the Accolade of Pain into that. That'll drop him down to two. Uh, two health no matter what. If I do get a lightning storm, it will kill it. But even then, I think I'm still boned. Um, hmm. No, I'm not. Okay. This is how we're going to have to do it. This is how we're going to have to do it. So get that out. We're going to run him into him, make it so he has only three health. That is, like, literally, like, the best chance I think I have at this. Well, that, and I'm going to need a totem. I'm going to need a taunt totem. That, that, that's not a taunt. Wait, I could still, I could still get it with a lightning bolt to kill off that thing. So I could literally, like, wipe nearly his entire board here. Um, it comes down to this. And it gives me a rock by your weapon. Well, GG, I guess. I know why I'm doing this. I'm just going to see if I somehow don't die, but, you know, yeah, I died. Jeez. All right, so an AoE-style survival deck is probably the best go, huh? We'll try it out. Um, what deck do I get rid of? Uh, we'll get rid of Thalls Walls. I haven't used that deck in ages anyway, and I have a new Shaman deck I like to use. So, the idea is, I think I'm going to use a Warrior. I'm going to try and make a Control-style Warrior, which is about living, as well as doing a bunch of AoE. So, two Whirlwinds, obviously. Two Executes, obviously. Um, Inner Rages could be good. Shield Slams, because I plan on having lots of armor. Cleave. Cleave could actually be good in this fight. Um, would it be? Two damage to two random enemies? Yeah, I think Cleave could be good in this fight. I don't ever use Cleave, really, but uh, that just sounds like it could be good. Revenge is basically another whirlwind. It's going to be more AoE. We'll grab that. That's actually the reason why I thought the warrior would be best for this. Uh, one, I know I make a control warrior deck for the most part. And two, uh, I whirlwind plus revenges, plus executes, plus cleaves. I feel as though we're going to have a lot of removal here. We get uh, cool taskmasters in there. Get some armor smiths because that's just part of being a control warrior. Uh, a couple of shield blocks. Um, I could get the core current elites. Axe flingers, I feel as though we're good in this kind of a deck. Death spite, grab two of those. Um, Iron juggernaut could be helpful in general. Um, shield maiden, that's what I was looking for. A couple of shield maidens. Uh, a couple of siege engines, just because why not? Uh, get an iron juggernaut in there, just so yeah, you know, just so we give him the bow cry where he shuffles a mine into the deck. That just sounds good. Um, Let's get a couple of staples in here. Let's get a couple of yetis. Let's get a Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. That just seems nice. Uh, yeah, get Ragnaros in there. Uh, Alex Straza, probably, right? To either get my health back up to 15 or set his health down to 15. I think that'd be good. I think I have too many spells and stuff in this deck, though. I don't think I have an actual enough minions, like enough beef in here. I have just too much removal. I'm going to need to work on this. Um, 
Golden Arknet Reapers. I only use Arknet Reaper. I'm happy I have a golden. You just get that for leveling up the warrior, by the way. Um, Jeez. We need more bulk in this deck. Which means... Okay, we'll get rid of a couple cleaves. Yeah, we'll get rid of... Oh, Garabashis! Um, oh, was I not typing? I thought I was typing. Uh, here we go. We'll get a couple Garabashi Berserkers in here. Yeah, whatever as many takes damage, get plus three attack. Get a couple of them in there. Do I round it off with a couple Armani Berserkers as well? Or do I Grim Patron? Yeah, Grim Patron, right? Maybe. Grim Patron? But then again, is Grim Patron really going to be that good? No. I don't think Grim Patron is going to be really that great, because I don't have the War Song Commander in this deck. And I'm going to have to wait to turn 5 to even be able to use them. So I don't see that being super useful. Hmm. Well, this is bothering me. Crafting mode, disenchant extra. It's bothering me that I have a card to disenchant. It, I see that just going there, and it was annoying me. I'm sure it was annoying some of you guys as well. Oh boy. Um, my only card draw is. Do I, do I get Acolyte of Pains in there? We'll try. We'll, we'll try the Acolytes as well in here. All right. So in terms of beef, what do we got here? So we've got Axe Flingers, which can just do damage and be annoying. Uh, Chill and Yetis, Gerbashi Berserker, Siege Engines, Iron Juggernaut, Shield Maiden, Ragnaros Fire Lord. Uh, Alex Raza, we've got two armor smiths, two cruel taskmasters, some shield slams for removal, Acolyte of Pains. I think it could be good. Uh, Bane. There we go. We're going to call this deck Dragon's Bane. And I went to play mode by instinct because that's what I do. <laughs> Dropped all the way back down to rank 17 as well. Uh, starting to not do so high here towards the end of the season, but. Yeah, normal. I'm, I'm like having, like, I'm going brain dead here, just trying to think what I need to do. Um, Dragon's Bane. Hopefully this works. Um, it's a new take, it's a revamped control warrior idea, where basically the whole point is stay alive as long as humanly possible, and get out some really big, scary guys in the late game. Again! Again. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have Ragnaros' help in this fight. We got the Taskmaster to get rid of some of his guys early on. Chill and Yeti, which I'm working on getting golden ones of them by leveling up the warrior. That'll be nice. <laughs> Your ultimate creation, huh? I'm just gonna armor up. I I could, I could throw a Taskmaster, but I want to wait. Yeah, see if he uses his ability here, the Taskmaster can kill off one of them, which is good. Now, Shield Slam could also kill up on them. That would just be a waste of a good Shield Slam. So, we're not going to be stupid and do that. All right, kill off one of them. He's probably going to attack. Then I could trade and get the Acolyte Pain out next turn. Maybe. Twilight Drake. Huh. I'm not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that at all. I could kill off the Twilight Drake this turn. And I think I'm going to. So, Shield Block. And... Shield Slam. That, that's a heck of a combo I've ever seen one, though. Shield block and shield slam. Goodness, he has two? Alright, where's my other shield slam at? Where's that at? <laughs> I get another shield block. Um, hmm. 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 I'm not sure what would be the best thing to do here. Um, I could put out the Yeti. And that's it. Uh, <laughs> I could arm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just double armor up, right? Or I could axe. I could take the axe, run one axe into him, then kill him next turn. That nah, will double armor. Whatever. Siege engine, which could potentially be pretty good. I randomly have two gold ones just from opening packs, so I, th I think that's neat. I can whirlwind. Whirlwind plus axe. Ah, but that that would end up that the ruby and egg is gonna be a pain. Chill wind. That's whirlwind. And the siege engine. I have ten armor still here for crying out loud. All right, run you into me. Okay. Oh, oh, we've got plays here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got plays. So, okay, so that 
I can throw out the Shield Maiden, and, that, and that's gonna, since I gain armor from the Shield Maiden, he'll get plus one attack, which means I can run it into the Dragon Can and get rid of that basically for free. Um, then I could also Death's Bite down that and get the Accolade. No, I couldn't get the Accolade Paint out there as well. No, I would. So instead of playing out the Shield Maiden, what I'm going to do is armor up this way. Grab the Death Spite, run you into you, attack you. Hope I'm doing this in the right order. Probably not, but power overwhelming. That's actually I'm actually okay with that. I'm actually I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. Cause that's gonna make it so it's gonna summon the Nerubian out of the Nerubian egg. Hey, what are you doing there, cowboy? Slow down there. Jeez. Ow. My armor. Well, now I can kill off the Nerubian, and the AoE will kill off these guys. And I get the Berserker out. I can get out the Berserker and the Accolade of Pain. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so things are working out good right now, I think. Now the Berserker is going to become a 5-6, and I'm going to draw a card, which is going to be another Accolade of Pain. And his board is cleared. He's going to Lava. Ooh. I mean, that, that you're, you're just going to buff up the Berserker even more. <laughs> and I have an Execute for your annoying little thing that's going to pop out. If I can somehow do damage. You would have a Dragon's Breath for it. Ah, that's annoying. But he's running out of cards here. But still, geez, that's annoying. Is it is it time to buy Fire Be Purged? Is it? I think it's time to buy Fire Be Purged. Ragnaros is here. Ragnaros is back. Oh, and he, he gets out the 6-4. Beautiful. Thank you, Ragnaros. Good job, Ragnaros. Whenever you, whenever you target this minion with a spell, get plus one, plus one. Huh. That's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's something. Ooh. How does Alex Straza work on this fight? Does he drop just down to 15 health and just become super easy? Let's do it. Oh, Alex Straza. All right, so now, yep, he's going to trade that for that. Beautiful. Do you not have any? You don't have an answer for Alex Straza this turn. Rock on. That's awesome. All right, I want to save my guys, though, because if we can get down. Yeah, I want to save the shield slam with the shield maiden. That that would just be a good, that would just be a good combo later on. So the idea here, let's get out the accolade of pain for some card draw. Let's get out the armor smith just for whenever I mean to take damage. I'm gonna gain a little bit of armor, and let's get let's work on getting down the armor here, right? Because once his armor goes down, then he summons his sister. Yeah, see, I'm getting armor as a result here. That was good. Lava, two damage. All right, so you're just gonna give me more armor and a card. Thank you. <laughs> and a dragon egg, okay. I mean, I'm totally fine with all of this. Just throwing it out there. Alright, so here's the... Oh, well, here's the big question now. Do I go for... I guess I can do both. Why not do both? I was gonna say, uh, do I run each of these guys into him, dropping down his armor down to no armor, and then making a sister spawn, or do I run them in here to clear off these guys? And the idea is we do both. So we're going to... Run you into you, just for card draw, and so I get a little bit of armor as a result as well. We're gonna run you into you, just so I get even more armor. And... Death Sight. Alright, so his sister's here. And remember, when she dies, he gets super mad and kills anything on my board. So, that would be something I would like to avoid. Ah, I wish Shield Slam could go right to his face. That would be nice. Alright, well, it's still my turn, technically. Um, Well, a quick way to get rid of her would be to get the old Axe Flinger out there, right? Every time Axe Flinger takes damage. No, don't don't spit fire. Don't spit fire at me. Whatever you do. 
Don't spit that fire, though. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Now there's plays to be made here. <laughs> I just don't know exactly how to make it. Okay. Whirlwind L, Revenge as well, which is just a more costly whirlwind for me in this scenario. So the idea here is I want to... I want to attack base with the axe while still killing off both of these. Now, how can I do that? I can run you into you. Which will make it so you have two. No. I can run that into that. Which will kill it. Right? No. Hmm. Jeez. Is it even possible to do this? I'm sitting here... I'm sure there's a play here, but like my head is just not working right now. Um... I can use the Revenge and the Whirlwind. That would drop him down to three health and summon two of the one ones there. Then I could run. Then I could kill that. Yes. Okay. So uh, it's gonna be costly, but it's gonna do lots of damage and clear his board. So we're gonna do it that way. Revenge. Rock on. Um, whirlwind. I probably wasn't the best way to do this. I could still technically kill off that, too. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. This is, this, this is the plan here. Look at all the damage we're doing here. I'm liking it. Then we, then we go face here. Look at all the damage that just happened there. Rock on. That's awesome. If I could draw it... No, I don't have any other weapons in this deck. I'm going to have to put out another minion. I'm going to have to sacrifice a minion to be able to kill off that, which... I think, I think sacrificing a Yeti would probably be pretty good, right? Yeah, I don't want to sacrifice. We'll, we'll sacrifice the Yeti. Put out the Yeti. And then next turn, kill off Onyxia with the Yeti. Then he'll then he's going to kill off the Yeti. No! Wait, can you, can you not kill me? Yes, he can't kill me! Oh, you're going to save up for a glorious turn. Too bad you can't kill me and your hand is gone. Woo -woo. All right. Yeti, you done good. You are angry. Have you tried not being so angry? I can take the hit. Look at that, man. We get a 5-5 five five and a 4-5 out there. And 5 armor. We get a Chromagus. Too bad I have Execute. <laughs> oh, no! I can, oh, I can revenge and kill off all those. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Do I have enough mana? You gotta be kidding me. You have cat to be kidding me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Is there a way to do this? Is there a way to win this turn? No, because I don't have any charge. I can do 9 damage. He has 13 health. Um, remember, Shield Slam only works on minions. I could Shield Slam down Kermagus and just go phase and not even care about these little guys. I could also throw out the Garibashi Berserker, throw out the Armor Smith, and then use Revenge, which is going to wipe that, wipe that, damage that, uh, give me a bunch of armor, and buff that thing up. Then execute down that thing. Then I have four minions, lots of armor. Yeah, we're going to do it that way. That just seems way too much fun. Wait, before I do it, five mana, six, seven mana, eight, nine mana, ten mana. Perfect. All right. Berserker. Armor Smith. Revenge. Hmm. Execute. And smack some face. Brace for impact. No warriors. No warriors. Who's a no warrior? Shadow Flame. Destroy me and deal its damage to all enemy minions. That's not going to do enough, sir. GG! GG! Yeah, Yak Slinger. Oh. Unfortunately, there's no way for the Axe Flinger to win it. I wanted to, like, shield slam my own Axe Flinger and win that way. Because <gasps> that'd be funny. Look at that, 19 armor. Uh, well, let's kill that. <laughs> 19 damage. And Garibashi Berserker.
Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Dragon Cannon Sorcerer. Whenever you target this minion with a spell, gain plus one plus one. It's already a three five for four, which isn't that bad anyway. I like it. I like it. Dun 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 dun. dun. Yeah, Nefarian, brand new legendary, brand new legendary. Actually, a pretty good legendary in my own personal opinion here. So it just gives you a little bit of card advantage. So it's going to be an 8-8 for 9, which is pretty good, all things considered. And the battle cry is going to be add two random spells to your hand from your opponent's class. So let's say you're facing a warrior. You can get like a whirlwind and execute. Or if you're facing a mage, you can end up getting some fireballs or pyroblasts or anything like that. It's all going to be completely random, and I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Nefarian's a pretty cool legendary. And we now have the class challenge for the paladin. Ooh, looky here. Yeah! That's awesome. Well? Well, oh, I guess I guess that's about all then, huh? <laughs> Aside from the Paladin Class Challenge, which we'll probably do another video because we're already over an hour into this recording. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, these were the decks. These were the decks. So this was the deck that uh, we used to win a couple of these things. This is the deck I run with a lot in Ranked, which I'm also considering already changing around. I'm sitting here thinking, maybe if I were to commit a little bit harder to the idea of being like an aggro deck or so, get rid of Chromagus, which really hasn't... Chromagus really hasn't helped me out too much. I, I decided to put him in there after we got him with the last wing, and he hasn't really helped out too much. Emperor is becoming less and less helpful for me because, I don't know, and, I don't know, Karen's usually just good in general, but maybe, I don't know, get rid of all three of them and put in even more low-cost minions or something. I don't know. I tinker with that deck quite a bit. So that was that deck, the Shaman deck. Uh, this was it right here. If you're wondering about it, this is the deck I, we used here in today's video a little bit. It's a fun deck. I like it a lot, actually. Um, yeah, nothing else really to say about it. I like it. It could... Of course, tinker around some other things, I guess, but uh, maybe maybe not having two bloodlust. But man, having bloodlust is just mean sometimes. But maybe I have, I have the idea to go for like a spell power shaman, where I'm using stuff like lava burst and just doing exactly that, a lots of burst damage. I don't know. Maybe I'll tinker around with something along them lines. But yes, that is the shaman deck that we use today, the death row deck, which got whooped on and really quickly. That was it. Uh, if you want to see it, that's the death row. I've had the same death row deck for ages now, ever since the Curse of Naxxramas um, expansion DLC adventure. That's what I'm looking for came out. So I was using that for a bit. Um, and Dragon's Bane. Oh, in, in the actual Dragon set. This is Dragon's Bane, the deck we just ended up using to actually win uh, against the Farian himself. It worked out pretty well. A very powerful deck. Of course, very expensive. Iron Juggernaut, which didn't even come into play, but, you know, Iron Juggernaut in there, Ragnaros, Fire Lord, uh, Alex Straza in there, plus just, uh, you know, other things from different uh, DLCs like uh, the Axe Flinger here, um, the Siege Engine, which is Goblins and Gnomes, um, I don't know, kind of an expensive deck, I suppose. Probably not too many people can replicate that, but good deck nonetheless. And Dragons, the one deck we ran with earlier, which I'm definitely going to be changing around a whole lot just because we now have a lot more Dragon uh, cards to play around with, so that could be a whole lot of fun. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to ring where you guys feel the deserves. And actually, before we break this off, I want to, where is that one particular Dragon which makes this deck awesome? Dragon Consort. That's the reason why I went with a Paladin over any other deck for, or any other class for a Dragon deck. The next Dragon you play costs two less so you can make that so potentially you can get out Chromagus for six mana you can get Alex Straz out for seven mana you Sarah out for seven mana that's pretty good definitely very nice but uh, yeah those were all decks that were used today hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to leave a rating and I'll catch you guys with the next and final video of the Black Rock Mountain Adventure because ladies and gentlemen we have one more class challenge actually we have a class challenge which will probably take five minutes to beat but we have a class challenge we're gonna be doing another video it's going to be with the paladin once again hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to leave a rating hope you guys all have a wonderful day